www.gardenadvice.co.uk for all your gardening needs. Hello and welcome to the plantadvice.co.uk video podcast from the 2012 RHS Chelsea Flower Show. As always, the Chelsea Flower Show is a spectacular event and in its 99th year, this year the Chelsea Flower Show coincides with the country's celebrations for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and the London 2012 Olympics. The show is the highlight of the gardening year catering for every gardening taste imaginable. And while the show has much to offer, the show gardens are without question the star attraction. While the show gardens on display probably far exceed the achievable expectations of the average amateur gardener, nevertheless, you'll undoubtedly leave the show inspired. During the show, we caught up with the award-winning garden designer, Andy Sturgeon, who designed the M&G Garden. We asked Andy what his inspiration was behind his design for this year's garden. It's the arts and crafts movement. Although I do quite contemporary gardens normally, when I was doing some research, I realised that the way that I approach it is very similar to the arrangement of space in an arts and crafts garden. So it's quite formal around the house, garden rooms becoming more naturalistic away from the house and it's really those kind of ideas. We also caught up with the BBC's Joe Swift who explained his thinking behind the design of his first Chelsea show garden. Well the idea is living in an urban or suburban situation that you don't actually come into contact with lots of natural forms. There's a lot of concrete, glass and steel and stuff like that around but I actually wanted to bring you know, natural stone and timber into the garden as much as possible, even if it was a boulder. But I didn't want to just put a big lump of boulder in, I wanted to do something with it. So slice it up a bit and turn it into a sculptural form. As well as the larger show gardens, the Chelsea Flower Show also features a group of gardens called the Artisan Gardens. These gardens show what can be achieved in a small space and on a low budget with the designers using traditional artisan techniques and materials. This year, the RHS introduced a new category of gardens to the Chelsea Flower Show. The Fresh Garden category seeks to push the boundaries of garden design with a selection of modern and inventive gardens. Although not everybody's cup of tea, these garden designs will certainly challenge your idea of what garden design is all about. While this category has some nice gardens with some interesting ideas, perhaps the concept of blue string and barcodes in the garden is just a little too avant-garde for the average gardener. As well as the selection of large and small show gardens at the Chelsea Flower Show, the Great Pavilion is also one of its key features. Occupying the space of two full-size football pitches, 
the Great Pavilion plays host to hundreds of displays of plants of every species and cultivar imaginable from some of the UK's top nurseries. No matter what your favourite plant, you're bound to find something to tweak your interest here. While the Chelsea Flower Show is synonymous with flowers, the Great Pavilion also has some fantastic displays of vegetables to whet your appetite. We bumped into the Michelin-starred celebrity chef Raymond Blanc, who enthused about growing his own fresh garden produce. The garden was not just about flowers, it was about growing vegetables and food. And the garden effectively created all the food, not only for the summer, but also for the winter. Well, that about wraps it up for our visit to the 2012 Chelsea Flower Show. We hope you enjoyed our brief tour of the show and look forward to next year's show, which promises to be an even more spectacular event, celebrating the show's centenary. Thanks for watching. Plantadvice.co.uk for all your gardening needs.